today's video, we're going to take a look at if Premier League footballers are any good at FPL. Before we start today's video, we are super close to hitting 2,500 subs on the channel. So if you want to help me hit that goal by the end of the year, do hit that subscribe button if you enjoy the content. So in today's video, I thought I'd take a look at the best free Premier League footballers so far. See how they're getting on in FPL. There are currently 12 Premier League footballers playing FPL this season. It looks like some have already given up and some just have really dismal ranks. I'll leave a link so you guys can go and have a look at all the players who are playing FPL at the moment. I'll leave a link to that website down in the description if you're curious for yourself. But like I said, for today's video, we're going to take a look at the top three. Starting off in third place is Kieran Trippier. Trippier sorry, Arguably one of the most recognisable Premier League players. England international, you know, played in La Liga as well. Played in some of the highest, you know, competitive games that are out there for Newcastle, for Spurs, for Atletico Madrid and for England. And he is, you know very good at FPL. As we can see, his game week 12 rank is 126,488. So he's already beaten me. He's already beaten a lot of the kind of top FPL kind of managers within the community. And you know, he's had some very, very impressive weeks. As you can see, game week eight got himself up to 70k. Game week two was absolutely phenomenal as well. Hitting 48,000, you know, really, really good ranks from Kieran Trippier here. But as we will come on to see, Kieran Trippier has actually played free chips so far this season. So that's probably the reason that he is doing, you know, so much better than a lot of the kind of content creators and more engaged players. As you know, personally for me, I've not used any chips and I know a lot of kind of other top FPL managers haven't used any chips. But in game week six, he used his triple captain and in game week eight, he did play his free hit. And in game week four as well, also activated that wild card button. So I do think... For Kieran Trippier, there will be a little bit of a kind of a tail off with his rank, you know, when other people start to use their chips, especially that triple captaincy chip with potential double game weeks coming up when, you know, the kind of the consensus pl plays those chips in those games weeks, you would imagine that he would see potential rank decrease, especially if it's like that double game week plan with Haaland or Salah as well. Those could be very, very tasty indeed. And Kieran Trippier potentially could suffer. But as well, I thought I would take a look at some of his kind of highlighted week so we're obviously going to start off this is last game week he did go for Watkins captain that was a decision I was umming and R and over obviously he's got Salah and Haaland as well so did miss out by going for Watkins that did lead to him having a slight rank decrease but there's some rogue definitely rogue players in there John McGinn as well with 10 points obviously he scored this week Kyle Walker as well Interestingly, Kieran Trippier has not owned himself throughout the entirety of this season. And you know what? I don't think it's a complete surprise, to be honest. Obviously, he backs Newcastle. He's got his fellow teammate in there, Fabian Scheer. But I think the price point that he is, he does kind of lean towards the fact that you might not be able to get Haaland and Salah and such a potential strong team as well. He's obviously got Bruno Fernandes in there as well. So quite a lot kind of invested in the midfield. So it potentially makes sense. But you would feel if you were a Premier League footballer, you would have to back yourself. A player especially a player with Kieran Trippier's ability and obviously the side that Newcastle are as well you would think you'd just have to back yourself and have your in your own team but Kieran Trippier yet to own himself in FPL it was an okay week for him obviously did get the captaincy wrong but picked up some good points from uh, Ward Prowse and uh John McGinn. Let's move on to Kieran Trippier's next team and this is in game week six when he played his triple captain. Let me just load that up. That's all loaded up for you there. This was when he played his triple captain. Already you can see it didn't quite go to plan with Erling Haaland. Obviously for that game week in game week six, Erling Haaland uh, played Nottingham Forest and only scored one goal. So disappointing there. Obviously had Watkins. Anthony Gordon with 12 points as well. Sat on his bench third sub. Is heartbreaking. But you know, overall, this was a quite a positive week. Kyle Walker with 11. Saka with 13. Madison picking up an attacking return as well. And Matoma as well. So... Despite the triple captain chip not working, the team was pretty strong. It's just a shame that Kieran Trippier did waste his chip in this game week because... Otherwise, if he hadn't have used it and utilised it better on in the season, this would have been a very positive week and still would have got him a very, very good rank gain. Right, let's move on to Kieran Trippier's free hit that he did play in game week eight. And as you can see, 
this one didn't quite go to plan. Obviously went for the triple Spurs. This was when they played Luton. And obviously we all know how that game went. Went with Hoyland captain as well, which is an absolute stinker. As you can see, had the triple United in game week eight. Who did they play? They played Brentford and 1-2-1. Marcus Rashford coming off in the 62nd minute as well. Absolute stink fest from the United boys as well. Ben White on the bench with nine points. It looks like Kieran Trippier has been very unfortunate with people on his bench. And obviously the Spurs boys letting him down as well so yeah not a great free hit from Kieran Trippier there and yeah the triple captainship as well didn't really work out well for him so far so I do think we will start to see a little bit of a rank decrease from Kieran Trippier but so far it's been a very good season like start to the season for him let's move on to second place currently the second best Premier League player playing FPL so far this season is fellow Newcastle teammate Fabian Shear. As you can see, he's only two points ahead of Kieran Trippier, around 110 rank. So again, really, really impressive. And as you can see from him, you know, he's had some really high ranks so far this season. You're looking at game week eight, where he was at 76, then improved on that into game week nine with 27,000 overall. And then in game week 11, 41,000. Unfortunately for him, game week 12, it did kind of take a little bit of a turn. We will see why in a few minutes time but back around the 110 mark but previous to that he's had some very very strong you know kind of game weeks something must be in the water at the Newcastle United training ground for all these players to be doing exceptionally well at FPL as well so you know some really really positive ranks the only thing that I wanted to actually highlight there was kind of his team value because it is absolutely pitiful uh, I do think that potentially could cause a few problems when Fabian Shear, you know, activates his second wild card. Maybe wants to do a free hit, something like that, because the team value at not uh, at 100.9. It's pitiful. Like I said, it is absolutely disastrous for him. So that potentially could have some consequences. But he's in a very good place. Unlike Kieran Trippier, he has only activated the wild card. So still has his free hit, triple captain yet to play. Bench boost as well. So still got all three of the kind of positive point gaining chips to still play with his team. So, you know, you would imagine that he probably would do better out of Kieran Trippier but let's take a look at some of the highlighted game weeks we're going to start off with game week 12 obviously last game week and as you can see some absolute benching nightmares for him obviously that seems to be a theme that's running through the Newcastle United squad Gallagher with 10 on the bench and Thiago Silva as well with six obviously him scoring in that game with a little cheeky knee slide as well Ruben Diaz with zero but unlike most FPL managers, he did go for arguably one of the best captains that you could go for this week. It was split between Haaland and Salah. Most people who had the option of Salah went for Salah and obviously Haaland as well. Both scoring 16 in the end. So both, you know, coming away with 32 if you did captain them. But, you know, he got the captaincy decision right. Probably kept him, you know, not too much of a rank decrease. Obviously, we saw it was around about 80k, but it could have been absolutely disastrous if he'd gone with Kieran Trippier's advice and potentially gone for Ollie Watkins. You can see that there potentially is going to be a problem going forward uh, for Fabian Shear, and that is the lack of Salah in his team, especially with some of the positive fixtures coming up for Liverpool you're thinking about that Sheffield United one you're thinking Bournemouth as well those are definitely captaincy options so that would be my advice to Fabian Shea go and get Mohamed Salah like Kieran Trippier he has not owned himself throughout the entire FPL season so again another player not backing himself but he does have his fellow teammate Kieran Trippier in his side and Nick Pope and Gordon so a strong Newcastle contingency within the side he just doesn't quite back himself right let's take a look at another highlighted game week this is his highest scoring game week so far and it was game week nine two points off the 100 mark and had an absolute masterclass as you can see some really positive scores in there for Fabian Shear. obviously the Kieran Trippier 10 points for that game week uh, what week was this? This was the 4-0 win over Crystal Palace. An assist, a clean sheet, and two bonus for Kieran Trippier. Amazing. Romero as well with eight clean sheet, two bonus against Fulham. Uh, Anthony Gordon as well picking up a goal and a clean sheet. Again, another positive win there. This was the Ollie Watkins game as well where he got a goal and assist versus West Ham. Very tidy indeed. And got the captaincy decision right with Son as well. 
Well, this was the week that he went up to 27,000, went with Son captain against Fulham, got the goal, got the assist, got the clean sheet, and got the free bonus. So some very, very positive scores in there for Fabian Scheer. But like I said, I do imagine there will be a potential bit of drop-off with him not having Salah in the next few game weeks. But let's take a look now, ladies and gentlemen, at first place amongst FPL managers, not managers, FPL players within the Premier League community. And the Premier League player who's doing the best so far at FPL this season is Halmar Iqdal. I do apologise if I've absolutely butchered that. A Burnley midfielder who's 25 and only played nine games for them. I've never heard of him until making this video. But as you can see, he does have the highest overall rank among Premier League players so far this season. 107,000 rank. He does have the same amount of points as Fabian Scheer, but has made less transfers, meaning that he is on top. And as you can see, there's no kind of real standout weeks it's just been very methodical slowly war of attrition kind of just balancing his way up the table to where he is now in game week 12 as you can see as well his team value has been steadily increasing as well which is always what you like to see from top managers so when he you know goes to activate his second wild card or plays free hits or whatever you know potentially get some top quality players in who potentially have a switch of fixtures or form he's got the budget to be able to go and do that but as you can see like i said it's a very steady steady grind that he's kind of gone through I think a lot of people are kind of in this boat as well some massively disappointing scores at the start of the year but after kind of game week six you're talking a mill rank there into game week seven and then it's just been like I said a very steady increase over the past few weeks but it's not the first year that this guy has played FPL as you can see from his previous seasons he's kind of a little bit of a veteran of FPL and putting some very good rank performances as well as you can see Far back as the 2016-17 season, he actually finished 6,750th in the world, which is very, very impressive. And then to top that, in the 21-22 season, came 546 in the world. So mightily impressive there. Last season wasn't kind of his kind of forte. He didn't do too well outside the top 100k. But where the kind of position of his squad is at the moment... And the fact that he's only played his wild card so far, good team value, good position on rank, you would say he's probably looking at getting himself into that top 100k finish, maybe even a top 10k finish if he can keep up what he is doing so far. So let's take a look at his team in game week 12 that hasn't loaded in really annoyingly. There it is. It's now loaded in. So as you can see for game week 12, went with kind of one of the two captaincy options that was in a good position. Obviously, as well, has got Kieran Trippier. He also has owned himself for 11 out of the 12 game weeks as well. Currently injured, so maybe we will start seeing potentially play some Premier League games. I think his squad is in a very interesting position, very similar to mine, very balanced midfield. It's whether or not what he wants to do with that defence. Obviously, Newcastle potentially falling away over the kind of the next few weeks with some difficult fixtures injuries arising as well Matty Cash as well probably another player that he's wanted to look at to potentially get rid of Ped Porro again another one Diaby there's there's definitely some players who I think there will be a little bit of churn and potential turnover but I think he's got the two big boys that you need the Haaland and the Mohamed Salah and definitely got himself that team value that means he can do a lot of fun things with his squad as it goes on but arguably outside of these three we're not really talking about you know too many top quality managers uh kind of well footballers playing fpl so far this season like i said i will leave a link to the website so if you want to go and check out the rest of them you know james madison uh john mcginn son all these players are playing as well but not having the kind of same success as we've seen with the free displayed in today's video like i said at the top of the video if you do enjoy the content that you see on the channel and want to subscribe and help me hit 2500 subs that would be massively appreciated but yeah thank you very much for watching today ladies and gentlemen and good luck this game week.